Hey guys, it's Andrew from Simo Apps, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to log in to Firebase using Google. So in one of my previous tutorials, we have already set up a Google login, so that's going to be the base template for this tutorial. So make sure you go on and download the source code for that below, and if you haven't already, go check out the video on that tutorial below. So let's get up to setting up Firebase with Google sign-in in our app. Okay, so as I mentioned, the Google sign-in is already set up in one of our previous tutorials. You can download the source code in the description below or check it out there. So this is the overall solution to logging into Firebase with Google. Step one, you log into Google. Once you've logged in, that will return a Google token. Now, step three, your app will then log into Firebase and it will pass in your Google token, which identifies your particular Google user. So for example, Andrew's Google user. Then once Firebase is logged in, it will return the Firebase token. And the way the Firebase SDK works is any calls you make with Firebase after that to save data to the database, read data to the, from the database and so on it will actually include your user token automatically for you. So you don't have to worry about including it at all once you've logged in. All right, so let's get into coding it. So I've got the old project here. So open up the pod file. Then what you need to do, we need to add a new pod, which is pod firebase slash auth. We just want the authentication module for Firebase. Once you've done that, save that pod file, open up terminal, and then navigate to that directory and run pod install to install the updated Firebase pod module. Okay, so now we've got the pod file set up, we can set up the Google sign-in. And now what we can do is set up our project. So open up the Firebase console, then hit add project, add your project name here. So we'll do Google sign-in select accept and hit create project. Now I've already created a project for this. So I'll show you the next steps once you create it now. So you need to register the app. So in order to do that, grab your bottle identifier from the Xcode project. That can be found here under the bundle identifier. So in this case, ours is cmu.gsign. Then download a configuration file. This is a Google service info.plist file. I've went ahead and downloaded it. So download it to your computer and then you need to add it to the root of your Xcode project. Add it to all targets. Hit next. We've already added the Firebase SDK. So just ignore that. Hit next. We'll add the initialization code later. So hit next. Then hit skip this step and we've got our project set up. So now I'm going to add the Google service info.plist file here. Drag that into our project and copy that in. Now, next up, what we need to do is back in the instructions. If we scroll down, we've got implement sign in. So we have this sign in here, but we need to add a URL to our project. So that's actually in our JSON file we just downloaded. I mean, a plist file. So open that up in your favorite text editor and you're going to see this reverse client ID. So copy that out, head on over back to your project, select info under URL types, add a new one, paste in URL scheme. And that's going to allow our project to log in with Google using Firebase. Now heading back over to the Firebase console for your application, Go to authentication, go to sign in method, select Google, toggle the enable button to enable the sign in. You'll need to add a project support email. So add in anything you like, hit save. And now we'll have Google sign in enabled for our app and we can get around to the coding for it. So in order to set up Google sign-in for our app, go to the app delegate, go to import Firebase. Now to configure Firebase, we simply use firebaseapp.configure. 
Then for the client ID, we're going to delete our old one. I'm going to do Firebase app dot app dot options dot client ID. And that's going to get our new client ID because we're using Firebase to sign in with Google. Now to actually sign in with Firebase on Google, under our existing sign in function here, after we've signed in with Google, we sign in with Firebase. So we'll make a comment called Firebase sign in. So to sign in with Firebase, we simply do guard let authentication equals user dot authentication and else we'll do a return. So remember at the start, I showed you the Google authentication, how it returns a token. This is where it's getting it here. So we check if we've got a Google authentication token. If we don't, we return because we, that means Google hasn't signed in successfully. Then we do let credential equals Google or provider dot credential with ID token. We'll do authentication dot ID token and access token is authentication dot access token. So we get the Google token here and now we'll actually sign with Firebase. So do auth with capitals dot auth brackets dot sign in and retrieve data. And we'll pass it in the credential we just created. And in the completion handle, double click on that to expand it out because it'll be a lot easier to type than remembering all the crazy brackets for it. Then we'll do auth result and the first part then the error, then in the code, we're going to do if let error equals error, brackets, do print Firebase sign in error, print out the error to the console, and then we'll return. So if there's a problem logging with Firebase, this error variable will be populated and we'll print it out to the console and we'll stop running the function. Otherwise, if the sign in works, we'll do print user is signed in with Firebase. Simple as that. Now, one more thing is to add the sign out function. So in our view controller, we'll import Firebase once again in the existing sign out function for the Google, we'll do let Firebase auth equals auth dot auth. Then we'll do use a do, we'll do try Firebase auth dot sign out. Otherwise we'll catch let sign out error as an NS error type. And in here, we'll do print fail to sign out. Print out the sign out error to the console and we'll return because we don't want to run any more code for fails to sign out. And down the bottom, we'll add print signed out. And this means the app is signed out down here. So if you want to navigate back to the login page, do some cleanup and so on, this is where you would do it. So let's run our project now and check that out. Okay, so we can see our app running here. So now if we hit sign in, we can sign in with Google. And just while that's loading up, just want to let you know, I did have a weird bug with my view controller where even though I didn't have a Google account already logged in, it would keep on trying to sign in silently. So if you run into issues where it just tries to log you in straight away when you don't have an existing login, just comment that out. Not sure if it's with the simulator, but I had that problem when running the app. So I'm gonna log in with my email, hit next, hit next. Now we can see in the console, it printed out the user is signed in with Firebase. So remember, we print that out when the sign-in is successful. Now, if we go and hit the sign-out button, we can see it signs out successfully because we reached this signed-out point. 
we didn't get any failed errors. So both Google and Firebase have signed out successfully on our app. So you can download the source code for this project below. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to give the video a like, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe for more tutorials. See you guys next time.